The entrance exam is around the corner and catecholamine surge kicks in making one feel jittery and anxious whether one has studied adequately to ensure a good performance. Catecholamines will interfere with the most rational skill required for a doctor which is to think critically and analyze the next best step in favor of your patient. So let's start with a couple of tips that really work to beat exam anxiety. Tip number one, the winners get going when the going is tough. You are the silent type of guy who does not vocalize his discomfort. You are the one who always maintains calm when in the middle of a storm. You've been this way since your school days, so keep the faith in your pre-existing skill and you are gonna ace this exam with flying colors. Tip number two, you gotta realize that everybody else is in the same boat as you are. It's perfectly normal to feel tense or worried about a high stakes exam, but the winner is the one who can feel butterflies in the stomach but does not let emotions overpower his wisdom or selecting the correct option in the MCQ. Tip number three, boost your confidence by strengthening your hold on high yield topics. If you studied previous year questions, you would have identified there are certain subtopics that are bound to be asked every year. These are high yield topics, so make sure to prepare these topics thoroughly and do not forget to study these in my opinion, National Health Program Statistics, IPC, Radiology Images, ABG Analysis, Electrolyte, Surgical Instruments, Trauma Workup, Blunt Abdominal Trauma versus Polytrauma Suspect, Sutures, TNM Staging for at least 5, Breast, Gallbladder, Stomach, Colorectal and Oral Cavity, though obviously optional if you can do Lung and Prostate Cancer as well. Burns, then Radio Science in Surgery, Kidney Stones Management based on Location, Rupture Bladder, Urethral Injury with Blood Endometers, Foley G Codes and the Funeral Gangrene man Management are some of those topics which have been very frequently asked. Step number four, you now need to begin to sleep seven to eight hours to rejuvenate your neurons. The new cortex of yours needs recharging. Now the sleep may not come and you might lie wide awake thinking what should I do extra but I think you've done sufficient groundwork and sleep deprivation at this level and at this stage can impair your performance and decrease your ability to recall information accurately. Tip number five is the most practical one. You need to do 200 MCQs daily for three hours in the remaining days to fine tune your exclusion skills. So sit on your laptop, imagine that you are in an examination hall, focus on the screen for the next three hours without drinking any water or touching your phone. Thank you for watching. All the best for your need PG from me and Team Preplatter.